Listen, sorry, I'm pacing, guys. I just get, uh, oh, man, I get so excited this time of year, and it's hard for me to sit still. And no, it's not because it's spooky time with Halloween around the corner or that pumpkin spice is back on the menu, although delicious. No, it's because it is the one-year anniversary right now. The one-year anniversary of uh, Extreme Games oh, pretending that they were dying for views and subs. Hashtag never forget. It's been dying for weeks. Did it go? Now, full disclosure, I have a huge soft spot right in here for these lads because it's due to their ignorance in trying to pull the stunts that they would unwittingly create an opportunity for me to help propel my career on YouTube to the next level and pay my mortgage for most of the year. <laughs> also, shout out Doc Bergman, the cancer curing chiropractor. He knows a cure to cancer. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Dr. Bergman is the best gentleman. Couldn't have done it without you, buddy. Now, I'm sure a lot of you watching are familiar with this saga, but if you're new or you want a little refresher, I'm gonna link this playlist right here of the trilogy I put up last year about this whole ordeal. Now, this may sound hubristic, but if I had to rate the Extreme Games trilogy, I'm putting it right up there with Lord of the Rings and the Christopher Nolan Batman movies. I mean, it is my Mona Lisa that I will be living in the shadow of for the rest of my fickle online career. Now, understandably, the brothers have deleted any trace of this particular event from their own YouTube channel, but since a year has passed now, I just wanted to take a moment to share in remembrance with you guys and now most importantly look at what they're up to today check in on the lads to see if they're still alive oh, wow. is extreme games live okay i just checked and good news they are still alive so it looks like johnny outlasted his four weeks to live diagnosis <laughs> my brother i mean if that's not a testament to dr bergman's cancer cure and chiropractic skills i don't know what is Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new Crab Rangoon filled with cat litter. My name is Leon Lush and I'm so grateful to have you here for a little bit today. So looking at their page, right around here is where the videos were before they deleted them last year. And if I remember correctly, I think after this whole thing, they, they uploaded like one or two more videos. They kind of left YouTube for a while, for months, like seven or eight months. And two months ago, it looks like they stormed back onto the scene, have been on the grind ever since, man. I mean, they got some bangers in here. Unboxing a $100,000 eBay mystery box, 3.2 mil, 2.4 mil on a th uh, 3 a.m. video. God God damn it. Of course they make 3 a.m. videos. A lot of iPhones in the thumbnails, you know, pretty standard YouTube fare. Uh, some misses, but by the looks of things, it's safe to say they're back in their A game. Let's check out their first one back. What do you want from me? I just want your assistance. I got some guy, he's really getting in the way, and I want him taken care of. So I seen that Joshua. He's right over there. <laughs> You think you can take me down, assassin? I'm gonna destroy you! Oh, this is crazy. This weapon's gonna really take out anyone else trying to get my bounty. Okay. Go on. I've got the gold, all right? Okie dokie, what gun were you looking for? Okay, great set design. Hey! Who are you? Who are you shooting at me? Is that a bear? Get, get away from me! Get away from me! <sighs> this bear! It didn't even look like a normal bear. Impressive visual effects. I will take him down. You'll make right. me ill Wednesday night. Okay. And I will have him assassinated. Sounds good. In a rich, story-driven performance by the boys? <laughs> Don't call it a comeback, baby. These boys came back with their dick swinging. Now, interestingly, they did disable the like to dislikes on this video. I guess they wanted to just kind of dip their toe in uh, on their comeback video before jumping in head first. I want an iPhone. <laughs> classic Extreme Games fan. Now their content may not necessarily be my cup of tea, but I am grateful that they're back. I think I've subliminally grown fond of them over this last year, just because their colossal f up really gave me some great content opportunities. And speaking of grateful, I'm also grateful that videos like this give me the opportunity to be a continued partner with today's sponsor, Dollar Shave Club. Now, Dollar Shave Club was one of the first sponsors to take a chance on the Leon Lush YouTube channel over a year and a half ago, and it's been a match made in heaven ever since. Their products were a staple in my grooming routine long before we ever started working together, so when they approached me, it was the perfect fit. Listen, I don't just wake up looking like an 11 out of 10 like this, all right? This happens with their help. They got you covered with your oral hygiene, your hair styling, your shower routine, a squeaky clean starfish, your skincare, but most importantly, your shaving needs. I use their executive razor and shea butter for a silky smooth lineup over here, but I also use it to clean up my shoulders because I am, I'm half Sasquatch. Fortunately for you, their starter set comes with the same heavyweight handle and 
cartridge of six blade razors that I use. It also comes with their Dr. Carver shave butter, which I'm obsessed with. It feels great. It prevents razor burn and it's translucent to help with precision. Right now you can get this starter kit for $5, which is an incredible value. And after that, they ship you the regular size products at the regular price. So go to dollarshaveclub.com slash Leon Lush to get going with your first $5 starter kit. It's five bucks. It's nothing. Link in the description. You won't regret it. So it looks like their first banger back was a do not call Pennywise at 3 a.m. video. Imagine my surprise. Okay, guys, so right now it's 2.01 a.m. in the morning, and I stayed up exactly for this. I got a number online to call Pennywise. This is gonna be so weird. Hi. I don't even think anyone. Tommy. Johnny? Dude, what are you doing? What in the world? I wasn't trying to call you, dude. I was trying to call Pennywise. I feel a bit weird right now because I was calling Pennywise, clearly, and somehow you answered. God, I hate when I'm trying to call Pennywise at 3 a.m. and my obnoxious brother picks up. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, I gotta disagree with you, Tommy. That happens to me pretty frequently when I try to call Pennywise. Okay, that was Banging so loudly. Like... You made me think you were Pennywise. Get in here. Okay, we're gonna give it one more try, and if this doesn't work, then obviously it's just a myth, clearly. But I hope it. Honestly, I hope it works. I do. Dude, just, same. I'm just Eyes all three, but we is no one here. Is that actually Pennywise? That is Pennywise. What are you doing? That was so weird. That what gave me like weird vibes just then. Okay, weird vibes, Tommy? Wait, dude, that is horrifying. Pennywise actually picked up the phone? Why are you not acting more scared? It's literally 2.08. Oh, it's because it's not 3 a.m. yet. <laughs> That's not a problem then. Anyways, as you can imagine, it's just like 20 minutes of them ad-libbing nonsense about Pennywise over a mashup of ambient horror music and trailer sound effects. I love it. <laughs> oh, guys, Nigel just called, guys. He said he's in the other room, guys. He said there's dirty laundry in the other room. Oh, guys. Oh, oh was that footsteps? What was that? Oh, oh, Nigel, what are you doing? Oh, my God. Oh. Why don't we just out sneak you? Okay. You can be the sneak. We're going to go out right now. Shh, shh. We're going to be quiet. Shh, no. We're going to be quiet. Shh, no. The door just slammed. Johnny! 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 He's gotta be in here, sure. Johnny? He's not in. Johnny? He's not in there. After all that, turns out Johnny did die after all. Just, I guess, not the way we thought he would. Johnny! What? Where's Johnny? Oh, thank God. He's just with Pennywise. Johnny, are you alright? Yeah, it's good. I'm alright, Tommy. I'm good. Look at all these toys. Oh, we're having fun now. And he's fine. They're just playing with toys. God, Johnny, st you gotta stop doing this to me. That's the second time now you had me thinking I was gonna lose you. He's gonna die in four weeks. Johnny! Johnny, I got He escaped! It sounds like he's Where actually he? here. Where is he? Hello? Hang, Hang that up. Hang that up. Hang that up. Hang that up. jump scare I'm talking about, baby! Worth the wait! Hey, Dirty. If this was real, they wouldn't record this. Ugh. Shut up, Maloney, okay? You don't know that. You don't know, how do you know them? I, God, I cannot stand haters in the comments. Pennywise locked the dude on himself and he didn't know that because this the first to use the door because he lives in the seawares. I mean, yeah, it's a valid point. <laughs> Anyways, these 3 a.m. videos seem to be working well for the bros. I mean, they're all cracking a milli, but I'm interested in this unboxing a giant mystery box. This morning, a truck pulled up to our driveway, and this was on our doorstep. It is a giant mystery box from a fan. We can't wait to see what's inside Can we break it. into this already? What are we waiting for? Yeah. No, all right, I'm going into this. Get the... you no, no! Oh! Okay, I'm not really sure what this video is about yet, but their energy with that music, oh my God, I couldn't help myself. Got me going, God damn. Okay, 107,000 likes. This must be a good one. Let's see what they're doing here. No way, no way. Come on. Oh, 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 yes! Yes! In there. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. I just 
just got a PS4 Pro, are you serious? <laughs> There's a controller and all the cords. Wow. Now, this is literally so expensive. I'm so happy. All right, Tommy, your turn. We don't even know who sent this to our doorstep. That was, uh, wow. <laughs> I'm just, I need a minute to let that one sink in. Let's keep going. Here we go, Johnny, I'm getting it right. Oh, okay. Here we go, what he does. Oh, oh, it feels God, like God, a bag or something. I have very bad anxiety watching this right now. No, no, it's not. No, no, no. And games are in there as well. Oh my goodness. Okay, I've got to get I think this is the YouTube video equivalent of snorting bath salts. Before I get this next side of me out, guys, I have a challenge for you. A challenge, you say? To see if you can like, subscribe, and turn on notifications with your pinky finger. My in pinky? Three seconds. If you can do three that, guys, in three Son of a seconds, you are amazing. The time starts now. Three, two, one. If you did that, it's comment down below. Three seconds was not enough time. It's not fair. Oh, oh. Paul Judy. Oh. Oh. So I guess they just buy themselves a ton of cool stuff and then like scream for 20 minutes while they open it on camera. And then of course title it unboxing a giant mystery box and get one and a half million views. Why could I burn? Why could I burn? Okay, now we're talking iPhones in the picture. As we all know, extreme games and iPhones go together like peanut butter and jelly. The question is, are they going to fake give it away to some lucky slash unlucky viewer? It's a giant 39 inch pickaxe. I'm gonna pull it out and just do it. I'm gonna go break some chains. <laughs> oh my God. I feel like just out of frame on either side of the camera, they have like folding tables full of 12 packs of bang energy and smelling salts. I'm gonna go break some trees. PS4. Oh my goodness, $70, $70. That is literally like a hundred and something dollars. <laughs> wow, 140. Ooh, and Johnny gets owned by Elementary Edition live on camera. They could have just edited that out, but chose to leave it in. Let me give you a hand here. Seventy dollars. Seventy dollars. Wow, 140. You see, nobody had to know that 70 plus 70 tripped you up, but you left it in. You did it to yourself. More coins and. And an aftershave? That was literally awesome. That's gonna wrap up this video, guys. You mean to tell me that you just unboxed $10,000 worth of badass toys and your finale was aftershave? <laughs> I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because who the f would still be watching this at the 20 minute mark besides my sorry ass, but aftershave? I <laughs> Today, we heard a knock on the door and this Right, so this is the exact same video, but a fan sent them a safe full of toys this time. <laughs> wait, wait, before you do that, we got a challenge for you guys. Another one? Out. We want to see if you can smash a like, oh, boy. and turn oh, boy. with, guess what you're going to use today? I don't, you're going to use your nose. Oh, God. That's my, too hard, isn't it? How, many, how, how long, how long do I have? You can do it in five seconds. I want to see that. Shit. Your timer starts now. Five, four, three, two, one. I honestly... God damn it! I never win shit! Feels like an iPhone. Oh my goodness, no way. Are you serious? Oh my! Oh, it is! Oh, it is! It's an iPhone! Oh, oh, oh no! My goodness! No! It can't be real! Oh it can't goodness. be real! No way! It can't be in there! I'm I'm shocked if that's in there right now. Guys, if it's in here, I'm no gonna go way. crazy. No way! Oh, I no. feel it's, it's weight. Oh my goodness. Oh! oh. 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 Ladies, you need to find you a man that gets as excited to see you as Tommy and Johnny get to see an iPhone. No cap. Before we open this, smash a like if you haven't already, subscribe if you're new, and turn on notifications. Actually, we might give away this iPhone 11 Pro Max if you guys do those things. We might do it. Hit notifications, notifications and comment down below. I did it. If you want to win this iPhone, we might right. give it away. There he is. Oh, Johnny, you just couldn't help yourself. Had to reach back and just throw in a fake iPhone giveaway real quick. You were trying your best not to. I could tell you were shaking. You were like, God, don't do it. Don't do it. God, guys, we're giving away this free iPhone. Oh, yeah, we might give away this free iPhone. Just do those things. Like and subscribe, and we might even give this iPhone away. Like, <laughs> Ooh, old habits die hard, don't they? Sure, it's a direct violation of YouTube's TOS to just lie about a giveaway like that to try and get people to take action on your video, but what 10 year old's not gonna like and subscribe if they think there's an inkling of a chance they could win an iPhone 11? It's genius! Two, one! Wait. What the heck? Tell me, what the heck is this? That's creepy. Dude, is that Pennywise? No. Oh my, what the heck? What, just what the heck just happened? Close it, close it. 
What the heck just happened? Run, 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 run. Looks like they just ended the video by setting up a future video, maybe? High IQ play by the brothers. Let's take a look, yeah. Five videos later, they get Pennywise stole her iPhone 11 at 3 a.m. I can't possibly watch another Pennywise or 3 a.m. video, but you gotta respect the hustle. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Do not click this video? <laughs> You're not the fucking boss of me. <laughs> Now they're coming, I can hear them. Look what you've done, no! It's all right, we, we've got to figure this out now together, how to escape. Okay. I think he's coming for me. I've got to hide right now. Who's Thank coming? Thank you to everyone that pressed this Whoa. video. That prisoner was trying to escape, and because you pressed this video, I can see his exact location right oh, now. crazy technology, how does that work? I didn't know Tommy was a cop. It says he's somewhere around here. He's right there, idiot Jesus! Prisoner! Oh no, he found me! Get his ass, Get Tommy! Prisoner! 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 I think I've lost him. Oh, there's a crossroad right there. Okay. I gotta come over here. Oh, there's a secret alley right there. This will be the perfect place to hide from him. Okay, that's enough of that one. All right, so Tommy can catch this open mayonnaise. Oh, he wins this brand new hundred dollar mouse. Let's, let's go. All right, Tommy, you ready? Ready. All right, guys, in three, two, one. Okay, uh, I think I've gone down the rabbit hole just about far enough, uh, but since we're on the video already, let's see if we can get involved in a giveaway of some sort. Last video, we asked you guys to guess how many chocolate M&M peanuts were in here. Uh, damn it, I missed that one. I wonder who won it. No one's guessed the right answer, so Johnny, what's happening? We're continuing the giveaway, guys. If you can guess how many chocolate peanuts are in this, put your comment in the comment section down below, and if you get it correct, you win this. But you're only allowed one comment, and you gotta also make sure you've liked this video and you've subscribed. The winner's announced next video. So what we mean to say, guys, is that there'll never be a winner because you have to actually guess the exact amount of M&Ms, and even if you guess the exact amount correctly, you won't know that you did, and we don't have to tell you. So just make sure you like and subscribe, and you might have a chance to win this. Shut the. F you know what? I feel like this is the perfect time to use this particular meme template. Hold on. Stream games. Hey guys, check out this totally real and not fake giveaway. YouTube TOS. Am I a joke to you? So it's safe to say that Extreme Games came back from their sabbatical this past year and is back on the grind. You love to see it, right? Killing it, getting millions of views, making that cheese. And you know, it's their content's geared towards kids, but that's fine. There's no shade in that respect. There's a lot of content like that on YouTube. It's fun to take the piss out of, but as long as you're not kind of like man manipulating your viewers and like using your own personal health struggles and twisting that into you actually dying to get people to like and just while making a mockery of people actually affected by terminal disease and illness. As long as you're not doing all that, I say more power to you, man. Go get them. The fake giveaway thing, eh, still a little bit of a gray area there, but you know what? There's room to grow. Tommy and Johnny, love to see it. I think not pretending you're dying is a step in the right direction and uh, wish you all the success in the world. And I do appreciate you, man. You, you gave me a hell of a year this last year. You really did. And if I'm ever in Australia, uh, drinks are on me. You know, fuck it. Whole ass steak dinner on your boy. Um, I owe you that much. <laughs> Anyways, I don't have any iPhones to maybe give away right now, guys. I do apologize, but it would mean the world if you subscribe and hit that notification bell if you're new. And if you could do me one last favor and maybe just buy your own damn iPhone 11 Pro, bring it home, slowly take it out of the box while you hyperventilate, put on a Pennywise mask, and just record yourself holding the iPhone and screaming into the camera for 25 minutes and upload that to the internet and get a couple million views and then unzip your shorts, pull them down, and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. I appreciate you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.